I'm Mark Bays and I'm the owner of Bays Farm Resource. Today I wanted to make a short video for you talking about some things to keep in mind whenever you put a suppressor on your AR-15. Now this, uh, this rifle is actually a machine gun that I have. I use it for demoing to uh, police departments which is why I'm able to have this short barrel and have a stock on it. You may have seen it in some other videos. But this is going to apply to any type of AR, whether it's a 16 inch barrel, 20 inch barrel, whether it's for home defense or it's for hog hunting and anything in between. The point being is, is that whenever you suppress an AR-15, and I'm specifically talking about an AR-15, even though some of this does apply to AR-10s as well, but when you suppress an AR-15, certain things happen. First of all, you have to understand how the AR-15 platform operates. And a lot of you probably know already, but just to give you a quick, uh, quick explanation, as the, the cartridge is, uh, is discharged and the bullet's going down the barrel, all those hot explosive gases are what's pushing it uh, down the barrel, giving, its, giving it its velocity. Now when it reaches the gas block on the AR-15, some of that gas is directed back up into the gas block and then back in the gas tube, that's where it contacts your bolt, causing it to be driven back, which is going to extract that spent cartridge or the spent casing and then the buffer system is going to propel the bolt forward to chamber your next round, which is why it's able to function in semi or fully automatic. Now, whenever you attach a suppressor to the end of the AR-15, you are causing more gas to be added into that system. Now there are a lot of misconceptions about how a suppressor or silencer, the, the technical term is silencer, but there's a lot of misconceptions about how the suppressor actually makes the gun quieter. Inside a suppressor is baffles, and it kind of works like a, like a car muffler. But these baffles are typically cone shaped and what they do is they slow down those hot gases. And what actually makes the really loud crack, uh, the boom at the muzzle, is all those hot gases going out into the atmosphere. And that's what results in the loud report from your muzzle. So the goal of the suppressor is to capture those hot gases, slow those down, and give them time to cool off before they exit the muzzle so your report is not so loud. As a byproduct of that, the captured gases, some of that gets redirected back. And it's not, the gases in your bore are not able to escape as quickly if the suppressor wasn't attached. So as a result, more of that gas, because it's getting trapped in the suppressor, is getting pushed back into your gas tube. And that's why you have increased gas back here at your chamber and your charging handle. So your bolt is going to cycle faster. Whenever you watch uh, the full auto video, if you go to go to my Facebook page or uh, uh, you can find it on YouTube, me shooting this full auto, the cycle rate is going to be a lot faster on full auto than it is, uh, or on full auto with the suppressor, than it is without the suppressor. And that's because there is so much more gas being go uh, put back into that gas tube, which is pushing that bolt back. Now, another thing is, is because that gas is coming back, gas is going to be exiting out the back of the AR. So not just out the front of the muzzle, but actually out of the back of the AR. And it's going to come out here at your chamber, and it's also going to be coming out around your charging handle. And this can cause the, uh, the gun to not be nearly as pleasant to shoot. If you've ever shot a suppressed AR, maybe you're doing a, some rifle drills and you're, you're shooting multiple rounds at a time, or maybe you get on a big group of hogs and uh, you uh, do a mag dump, you may have noticed uh, some gas <laughs> in your face. Well, if you put a suppressor on, multiply that times 100. And quickly, after firing only maybe, uh, I don't know, half a dozen, a dozen rounds, your eyes are going to start watering because so much extra gas is being pushed back. So 
what is the solution? What can you do to help make or, or prevent so much gas go back into your face? Well, there's a couple things you can do. And realize that the things that I'm going to talk about are not the only, are the only options you have. But these are what I like to use. So first and foremost, uh, you can get a charging handle that is going to be designed to help prevent some of that gas going back in your face. Now, mine is not the best one for the job. Mine is a BCM gunfighter, but it does have some ridges up uh, uh, on the bottom of the charging handle to kind of help direct some of that gas downward. Now, the PRI Gas Buster is a much better charging handle for the job. It's a lot more expensive, and there's also the Raptor, uh, the Radian Raptor SD, which is a really another high-end charging handle. I'm going to get one eventually and test it out, but for right now, I use the BCM Gunfighter. Your standard AR-15 charging handle, or AR-10 for that matter, is going to just not do a very good job of preventing gas coming back in your face. It's got a very smooth bottom on it, so gas is just going to go straight back. Now, the next thing that you can do is actually get a bolt designed for shooting with a suppressor. Now, this one is a Gem Tech, and I'm pretty sure they don't make this one anymore. So, you can't maybe get this specific one. However, there are other companies that you can check out that do. And I'm going to see if the camera will focus on it. You should be able to see where, yeah, right there where it says suppressed, or S for suppressed, and then the U for the unsuppressed. So, you can just flip it over with your finger. It's really simple, really easy. And so, you can use this. And I have found that this bolt works amazing. Some of you guys, uh, some of the buddies I hunt with, I need to recommend this to them because they, they, these work really, really well. Having one you can switch back and forth from suppressed to unsuppressed does a great job at mitigating how much gas is going back in your face. I shot uh, just yesterday, so kind of a little bit dirty. But those bolts, uh, bolt carrier groups, work really, really well. And they are a little bit more expensive, but whenever you combine the bolt with a charging handle designed to prevent that gas coming back in your face, it, it makes for a really good combination. Now, the other thing that some guys will do is they will get an adjustable gas block. And there is some good options out there. Uh, the, the gas blocks that are adjustable for you guys that don't know, basically you can change the size of that port that's allowing that gas to come in so you can kind of limit how much gas is coming back. So whenever you're shooting with a suppressor, you may want to close it up a little bit to, to lower the amount of gas coming back in your face and it'll help the gun cycle a little bit better as well. But the other problem is, is there's a little bit more gunsmithing involved. You'll have to take off your rail. You'll have to install a, 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 an adjustable gas block. And another problem is, is it can be finicky between ammo. If you, nowadays, ammo is not exactly easy to come by. So you really kind of have to tune that gas block to that specific ammo. In my experience, what I like to do for my AR-15s, granted, I'm not, I don't have an AR-10 uh, yet, but what I do for my AR-15s, I use a standard um, mil spec. This is a, this is a Geisley gas block, and I just run one of those, and I'll use my BCM gunfighter charging handle, and I'll use my bolt, and if I'm, if I'm using, if, if, and what, it, what I do is, is if I'm going hog hunting, for example, this AR gets pulled off of this upper, gets put on my 16 inch upper, and then I take out the charging handle and the bolt and I put it in that gun and I use that setup for hog hunting. And it works really well for me. I don't do anything with my, with my gas block because it's not adjustable and it runs fine. Now, one last note to keep in mind. Because your bolt is cycling faster, sometimes your bolt may outrun your magazine. I've actually seen that before, that because of a suppressor, it may cycle so fast, you may actually outrun the spring in the magazine. 
So something you can consider doing is putting a heavier buffer spring in your buffer tube. So in the case of this one, I did just that. I don't know if I'm gonna pull it out for you, yeah. So in the case of this one, instead of using a standard H buffer, I am actually using an H2 buffer. The H2 buffer is just a little bit heavier, so having that heavier buffer is going to slow down how fast that bolt is moving and help my rifle be a little bit more reliable. So with that being said, that's the uh, recommendations that I have for you on how you can, can modify your AR and your AR-10 to shoot suppressed. Like I said, probably the best thing in my experience is just changing out the bolt carrier. That's, that's just worked really, really well. But getting a good charging handle, and if you want to deal with the trouble, getting an adjustable gas block is good. Just realize you're probably going to have to mess with it a lot for the different types of ammo. So that being said, thanks for watching. I want to give a shout out to Red River Night Vision. They hooked me up with this awesome hoodie. If you need anything thermal, night vision related, those are the guys to call and they will hook you up. And uh, if you need a can, feel free to give me a call and let's get you shooting suppressed. Thank you guys. Have a good one.